Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Tosh. If you're new, don't forget to click that button down below, subscribe, so you don't miss out on anything that I upload this year. And if you are a returning subscriber, you should already know that I would die for you. I would take a bullet if you need me to. I just came home from the gym, so I was like, let me just film this video even though I am in gym attire. This is an apartment tour. I went and toured the Sova Apartments, and I had been eyeing this place myself for a while. But this tour was actually for my friend Angela because she is currently picking a place to live She didn't end up choosing this place and I'll tell you why when we get that far for now Why don't we go ahead and hop into location so you guys know exactly where this apartment's located? Say that I've tried to film this like five times. I'm not exaggerating and I'm getting very frustrated Right here is where the apartments are located over here. They have this place called Walters 303 that place is so freaking good they have cauliflower pizza and many other options to choose from but you guys their wings are delicious their pizza is delicious i have like the last time i went there it was just so good so i 10 out of 10 recommend you go and try it out because you will not be disappointed not only do they have that they have the university of colorado many hotel options if you have guests coming to stay um so they don't have to stay far away from you there is also Lodo over here, which is lower downtown. So you're going to have literally everything nearby, including, like I said, some more colleges. Over here, you have MSU and Community College of Denver. You also have um, Elitch Gardens, the aquarium and stuff like that over here if you ever want to go there. I'm not sure what you're looking for, but let's hop into transit and see what kind of options they have for that. First of all, Denver Union Station is all the way over here. It's not far at all. Probably like a 20 minute walk, I would say, and maybe like a five, 10 minute drive only because of lights and stuff like that. Um, but you can get there, you can get to the airport for $9. It is fantastic, especially if you don't have a car. Now, zooming in just a tad bit more, we lost the spot, but the bus center is over here as well so you have a lot of options as far as bus stops go now sova is right over here somewhere i think it's right here um so there are two bus stops that are literally right on the corner of the street but not only that if you need to go to a different bus stop there are so many nearby and again the civic center is just south of you so you have a lot of options to choose from as far as the light rail and everything like that you're gonna be set you don't need a car in this area and this is a really good area to live i am gonna be so upfront with you guys i did a really bad job in filming this video so i apologize right now please do not come for me i was nervous because i had my camera so i think i'm just gonna do apartment tours on my phone still because i am just too afraid to bring this camera in there the lady was kind of staring at me the whole time she was like looking at my camera it was just a little awkward however let's get into the apartment itself it is a pretty nice apartment i actually really liked it i think it was built in 2020 i'm not 100 percent sure right when you walk in you have like a little mud room and i didn't get it unfortunately i'm too distracted when i'm with people but right after that you do have your bedroom and i like the bedroom but i don't like the bedroom and this is why angela is not going to choose this place i wouldn't choose it either for this reason there are no windows in the bedroom some people really like that i cannot not have windows in in my apartment or in my bedroom I don't know it's just so dark but the way that they have the model set up is actually pretty cute and I did get some shots of that you can definitely fit everything in your bedroom as far as like nightstands and a dresser goes and honestly the closet isn't huge it's not a normal walk-in closet but you do have enough room to where you can put some shelves in there or something like that so you have the ability to make it more of a better closet the only thing that kind of sucks is that that there's no light but I do think this closet is actually really good for the average person I feel like you would be able to fit all of your clothes in here hundred percent and then if it matters to you the bedroom is carpet the bathroom is really pretty but I feel like it's just the basic bathroom that comes in most apartments now there's nothing too special about it you have your single vanity I really like the color of the cabinets with the countertops I like the gray and the white I feel like it just looks really clean in there and then 
then the bathtub I did not get a good shot of this bathtub and I apologize but it's a bathtub and there is some storage which for some reason I really went in on this detail because I thought it was important I guess and not the bathtub itself after that you have the kitchen and the living area kind of combined I feel like you can still fit all of the things that you need for your living room in here you would definitely be able to fit like a nice rug and a couch and a TV stand and maybe a coffee table if you want or you can just keep it super basic whatever works but I like that they still have like a small island you can put two chairs there so you can have company over and then you don't have to have a table which will give you a little bit more room as well the windows in here are also really nice but at the same time I feel like it's a bit dark I have a feeling that has to do with the location of this specific unit and then also the level of this unit I want to say they have 12 floors I'm not 100% sure on that don't quote me you have stainless steel appliances however the fridge and this is not bad at all but I personally would prefer to have a fridge that has an ice maker just because I am not the type of person to drink tap water no I just need something in my fridge you guys can use a Brita I'm just too extra they have a full-size washer and dryer and um, that's basically it for this apartment I do want to show you guys a little clip of Angela giving her perspective on things then also I'll show you some of the amenities all of the amenities that we were able to see I got some footage from the model apartment as well so if you want to see it a little bit more done up and maybe like some different angles or shots they're still not amazing but if you still want to see it stick around watch it and I will see you guys on the next video I don't know when it's gonna be but I'll see you then and I hope that you have a great rest of your day bye I could see myself living there I think the only thing that's like deterring me from living there is the east facing view and the fact that the bedroom has no windows it's giving depression no, i'm just kidding <laughs> um but no I, I with the amenities and everything else and the way that you saw the little setup of the apartment that they had i could see myself living there it's very small quaint and homey mm -hmm. um so i could see myself living there ideally i'd like to have a balcony but a lot of balconies are open in denver right now for some reason or if they are they're probably like 2200 just overly expensive um and they don't have good views so i think i'd rather have like a decent ish view with no balcony versus a balcony and me facing a wall um but right now tasha's taking me to another one <laughs> that she's toured already i think um emily uptown yeah and then after that i'm going to emily park ave um literally same neighborhood just different views and i don't know if the amenities would be different but i'm gonna find out but yeah thanks for coming along Could be lying and tell you you're fine. I could be lying the rest of the night, but I won't do it. No, no way. I'm saying so. I could pretend that you're doing okay. I could give in when you want it your way, but I won't do it. No.